I'm meteorologist Eric Hayden with the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. I'm in charge of our social media program. Helping me with our presentation tonight is Chad Hecht. He's one of our summer volunteers for this year. We wanted to take a look back at our tornado stretch we've had over the past week. We've had a lot of phone calls from the media, a lot of questions on Facebook. We've certainly had a lot of tornadoes. How does this compare to the past? Are things changing? Have we seen this before? And is there a reason why um, things seem to be increasing in terms of our tornadoes? We have some answers for you. First, let's kind of take a step back and look what has happened over the past week. Just in the past week, we've had eight tornadoes across central New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Notice we don't have Lowville, New York on here and some of the other tornadoes outside our coverage area. This only includes the Binghamton forecast area. And since July 8th, we've had eight tornadoes. So it has certainly been an active week. There are a couple reasons for that and some of them may surprise you. Uh, number one, our radar technology has increased since um, the mid 90s when we upgraded to uh, Doppler radar. So we have a better chance at seeing storms than we did ever before. The second reason is quite simply, we're getting far more reports into the office than we ever had before. Think about it, you have a phone and most likely, if you have a cell phone, you can take a picture or video. Those are coming into the office, something that we didn't have uh, much farther in the past. The other thing that has helped us uh, get more reports and find out about things, without a doubt, has been social media. One of our tornadoes in the past week in Lo New London, New York, that's just to the south and west of Rome, we did not know about the damage there until we are notified on Facebook. So a lot of it is we're just finding out more information than we ever have before. In the past, if something happened, um, trees down, wires down, we may either not know about it or not have enough information to investigate it. So that's one thing that is uh, going on here. We're certainly getting more reports in, into the office than we have ever uh, really had before. The other thing I want to point out, not only are we getting more reports, but we do have tornadoes in our area. While rare, we average usually a couple each year in our forecast area, they are not uncommon. This graphic shows the number of tornadoes from 1950 to July 2012. If you look on the left hand side of the screen you'll notice the number 1016. This is not just our forecast area but includes the entire map. So tornadoes while not uh, a common everyday occurrence they certainly happen across our area and we uh, do have an active season roughly from about May through early September. So it's not rare to have tornadoes uh, in our area of, of forecast. One year I want to point out a lot of questions has this happened before? Is this something different? And the answer is no. Uh, you don't have to look too much farther in the past to see that. In uh, 1998 we had 61 to total tornadoes on this map. Again this is a little bit farther than our exact coverage area in Binghamton but gives you a good perspective and this is from the Storm Prediction Center. We'll show you how to get that information yourself at home. So in the past May or excuse me 1998 was a very a very busy year. Some specifics and some of you may remember this especially if you're in the greater Binghamton area or especially northeast Pennsylvania. May 31st, we had a long tracked supercell tornado uh, across the greater Binghamton area, Broome into Delaware counties. At its peak, it was an F3 with winds of 158 miles per hour or greater, a 60 mile path, and you can't miss that long track uh, from eastern Tioga County through Broome into Delaware County. Uh, and again, this is May 31st, 98. Just a couple of days later, June 2nd, an F3, also in our area, this is in Lake Cary, Pennsylvania, to the north and west of Scranton, Wilkesbury, also winds of 158 miles per hour or greater, and unfortunately, uh, from the house you can see the damage, we did have two deaths. So they have happened in the past uh, in our area, it is not um, common to get them in a frequency like we've had this week, but uh, that's kind of a statistical uh, fact that happens. We average, I mentioned, a couple tornadoes a year. Some years we have very lean years where not a lot happens, and other years we have active years. 2014 certainly will go down as an active year, much like May 1998. One thing I wanted to show you was how to get some of this information on our website that's there. Uh, this is our website, weather.gov/bgm, 
And at the very top, there's a tab called Climate and Past Weather. And if you go all the way to the bottom under Past Weather Events, our computer person in the office, Ron Murphy, has this uh, beautifully archived into different sections, uh, thunderstorms, flooding, tornadoes, and you can look at our past events. So here you can see some of the summaries I mentioned, uh, and specifically May 1998. For some of those tornado statistics, if you go to the Storm Prediction Center, that's spc.noaa.gov, and at the very top under Weather Info, you just want to click on Storm Reports. When you do that, they have a lot of great information here. I really think you should look through it. They have a lot of different types of graphs and things of that nature. Uh, the one that we used for our presentation now is this SPC's online severe weather plot. One final reminder before you leave us, this is our website. Don't forget, a lot of this information is on social media. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and also on Facebook.